CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 4. Coming up on CBS 3 Eyewitness News, break out that poodle skirt, slick back your hair, we'll tell you how you can take a trip back in time. Hi everybody, this is Tom LeMayne inside a 55 Chevy. We're ready to bring you back to the memories of the 50s here in Wildwood on Eyewitness News. The 50s are back and they're in full swing down the shore. And meteorologist Tom LeMayne is live in Wildwood now to take us back when you and I were young, Tommy. Well, when I was playing records on the radio, I always said that the 50s were the defining point for rock and roll. When people started... Maybe stop listening to Eddie Fisher and Patty Page and starting to listen to Little Richard, Charlie Gracie, and Bill Haley and the Comets. And I have Charlie Gracie and Bill Haley's Comets with me here as part of Wildwood Salute to the 50s Weekend. Dick Richards on drums. Johnny Grandy on keyboard and accordion. Marshall Lytle on that slap bass. And Charlie, these guys are all from the Philadelphia area. Upper Darby, Upper Darby, Eddie Stone. And that's where it all began. And to my right, Charlie Gracie yeah, from South Philadelphia High School. Charlie, there are a lot of sounds that define rock and roll, but I think the one rift and the guitar has been so much a part of rock and roll. Just do a little bit for you. One of the great ones. This is the greatest riff of all rock and roll artists. Let's hear it. That's just a little bit of it. Guitar riff from Rock Around the Clock. Now, Marshall, you you, you had a slap bass, and uh, you were telling me something that Brian Setzer couldn't figure out how a certain sound came out of that slap bass. That's a stand-up acoustical bass. Yeah, it's the clicking sound that we got on our recordings, and uh, on Rock Around the Clock, it was very prevalent. And uh, Brian Setzer says, we tried to figure out where that clicking sound came from. We tried it on bar stools and rims and all kinds of things, and then I told him it came off of the bass. And I said, you pull the strings and slap it back against the uh, soundboard, and uh, he was amazed and after I told him that a week later he went out and hired him a bass player he did the same things that I did well Charlie and guys you know as much as part of the 50s was the music were the cars oh, yeah. and how about this one we got a 52 Pontiac got a 55 Chevy and uh, some of the guys who can tell you more about them music and cars are what the 50s were all about it's a piece of history and it makes me feel like I'm 18 again every time I drive it and, and it's just fun the 50s are alive all this weekend in Wildwood with the help of memories of happy days. It just gives me pleasure to work on it, make it look nice, uh, back to a good day when everybody was working on their cars. And that's all we had to do. We, were, we didn't have any money. You can see the cars and the music. Charlie, Bill Haley's Comets all here this weekend. There's a hop tonight and a big show tomorrow night at the Wildwood Convention Center. KYW.com is more information. We have more Eyewitness News coming at you in just a moment. Stay tuned.